Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is how does the Big Five model of personality relate to career success? So I'm going to answer this question by looking at a few distinct areas of career success. One would be job performance, another job satisfaction, and the third area I'm going to combine status, so that's the title and how much prestige is associated with the career and earnings. And we can look at the five-factor model in light of these constructs. So to start with, the five-factor model has five personality traits, and we can remember them by the acronym OCEAN. Openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and eroticism. So openness to experience is associated with someone who appreciates art, who looks for new adventures, who tends to be creative. Conscientiousness is associated with being organized and planning things out carefully, having low impulsivity. Extroversion is associated with someone who likes to socialize and seeks out excitement. Agreeableness is associated with getting along with other people, valuing cooperation over competition, being trusting and caring. And neuroticism is associated with anxiety, depression, and being upset easily. So how do these five personality traits relate to job performance? We'll start with job performance. Well, before we look at any of the personality traits, it's worth noting here that in a lot of these studies, they have to control for what's usually referred to as general mental ability. Usually we measure this through IQ. So this is really intelligence. Performance, satisfaction, and earnings and status can be explained to some degree through looking at the construct of intelligence, particularly job performance and earnings. And the effect of IQ is very strong. And the effect of personality relative to IQ is much weaker. So a lot of studies control for or factor out general mental ability when they look at personality. So looking at personality and performance, we'll start with openness to experience. Openness to experience is a personality trait that is not clearly related to job performance. So if we think about all the different types of jobs there are, some personality traits really are associated with increased job performance across almost every job. And other personality traits are more career or job specific. Openness to experience is really more specific to a limited number of jobs. If you're looking at a job that requires a high degree of creativity, then openness to experience would be associated with increased performance. With some other types of jobs, though, it's associated with the decrease in job performance. Now, conscientiousness is a bit different. Conscientiousness, by far, is the best predictor of job performance, more than any of the other personality traits. And it tends to be global. It tends to affect almost every career and job. So high conscientiousness is almost always associated with high job performance. Now extroversion is a bit different. Extroversion tends to have a fairly strong effect for particular types of jobs, like sales jobs. But really a weak effect or even a negative correlation with job performance in other areas. So extroversion is a bit like openness to experience in the sense it's very specific to certain careers and jobs. Agreeableness is a personality trait that we don't really see associated with job performance. Some evidence suggests that high agreeableness can help an individual perform better in team-based jobs. And there is evidence that suggests that low agreeableness helps with jobs related to criticizing, analyzing, or being scientific. But overall, agreeableness does not explain job performance very well. Now, neuroticism is a little bit more like conscientiousness in the sense it does tend to have an effect across almost all jobs and careers. Neuroticism is associated with poor job performance. Now interestingly, if an individual is high in conscientiousness and high in neuroticism, the conscientiousness has a stronger effect. So neuroticism will not play a significant role in job performance a lot of times when we see high conscientiousness. Now moving on to job satisfaction. First looking at general mental ability, IQ. IQ is not associated with job satisfaction. 
IQ is a strong predictor of performance and earnings, but not job satisfaction. Openness to experience and neuroticism don't seem to have clear ties to job satisfaction. There's some evidence that high neuroticism may be associated with lower satisfaction, but those two personality traits don't tie very strongly with job satisfaction. High conscientiousness, however, does. High conscientiousness predicts high job satisfaction. High extroversion predicts high job satisfaction. And interestingly, low agreeableness is associated with more job satisfaction. Now, when we talk about status and earnings, again, IQ is associated with higher status and higher earnings. But we really have an impact here from all five of the personality traits in terms of status and earnings. One of the lower level associations, one of the weaker associations, would be openness to experience. There's different findings here with openness to experience. Some studies show that higher openness to experience results in lower job status and lower earnings, where other studies have the effect as being not there or positive. So openness to experience is not very clear. Conscientiousness, however, as it is for satisfaction and performance, is quite clear. High conscientiousness is strongly associated with earnings and status. Extroversion is also strongly associated. Agreeableness is associated in a different way. Lower agreeableness is associated with higher earnings and higher status. And lower neuroticism is associated with higher status and higher earnings. One other aspect that's sometimes of interest when it comes to career success is how long somebody tends to stay at a job. It's really not a part of performance or satisfaction or earnings. It's just something interesting that a lot of employers want to know. In terms of the five-factor model, high openness to experience and high extroversion tend to predict more turnover. Individuals with these traits don't tend to stay around at a job as long as individuals without those traits. And in terms of the trait that predicts staying in a job the longest, it's actually conscientiousness. Individuals that score high in conscientiousness tend not to change jobs very often. I hope you found this description of the five-factor model and career success to be interesting. Thanks for watching.